Joining me today is Parker White, Director of Commercial Real Estate with Hannon Armstrong. Parker, thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome. It's great to be here. Now, your company's focus is on providing capital to green building retrofits and new construction projects of all types. What trends are you seeing in terms of the types of projects that are being undertaken? So the types of projects that we finance range from highly complex uh, infrastructure uh, to low-tech LED lighting retrofits. We've seen a, a big uptick in rooftop solar, uh, which has uh, you know, been a consistent trend uh, for uh, several years. Uh, and increasingly, we're seeing more people do deep retrofits uh, or integrate uh, different kinds of projects together. So you might see a rooftop replacement uh, to coincide with a, a solar installation, or you may see controls uh, coinciding with uh, a systems replacement. And how have the economics of green building evolved over the years? Uh, well, as the cost of a lot of the equipment has come down, the economics are improving at the fundamental basis. Uh, so you're seeing um, quicker payback periods, uh, better returns on investment uh, when you're looking at a conventional um, uh, you know, equity investment. Uh, if you are looking at, um, I, I guess probably the biggest trend uh, that we're seeing uh, on the economic side is the introduction to financing. Um, so the financing of uh, energy retrofits in buildings uh, was made probably more prominent with the introduction of PPAs on solar, uh, power purchase agreements. Uh, that allowed building owners to take a uh, expensive retrofit uh, that would have an otherwise very long payback period uh, and amortize the cost of that over you know, a 25 year uh, term. Uh, thus, they would improve their cash flows on year one as the cost of the energy that they were consuming was less than the um, uh, purchase price of the, um, uh, of the solar. Uh, that is now kind of segued into other forms of uh, financing, um, most recently being uh, property assessed clean energy and, and PACE. Lastly, what are some non-conventional considerations when it comes to energy financing? So financing energy retrofits or, or new construction, uh, you can go the conventional route uh, with just conventional debt going to your bank, uh, and you're going to ask all of the standard questions when you go that road. Uh, with respect to financing energy projects or infrastructure projects of all kinds, seismic, hurricane resiliency, uh, you can get financing that is unconventional and it is uh, advantageous uh, through a kind of non-conventional set of considerations, chiefly being is it on balance sheet or off balance sheet? Uh, is it a pass-through that uh, I can uh, give to my tenants? Uh, does it help to align the um, benefits of the retrofit uh, such as energy savings or a reduced cost per kilowatt hour uh, with the uh, cost of the project uh, and what do the cash flows look like. Uh, and then finally, you know, what are the um, obligations as it relates to the financing uh, on the, across the term of the financing? Can I uh, accelerate this? Uh, can I prepay it? Um, uh, can I transfer it to the next owner? Um, so these are all important questions for a building owner. Great. Parker, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Thanks. For more from NAREIT's 2017 Leader in the Light Working Forum, be sure to visit REIT.com.